What's up, guys? It's Brian from Hashware Hub. It's about 8.40 a.m. Eastern Time, March 7, 2018. We got a brand new trading video here. Uh, this is on Bitcoin, as many before, ha uh, before it have been as well. But if you're new to us, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and get on over to Steemit and DTube as well there. Uh, links are down below. Facebook trading team link is down below there too. So first off, what I want to do is I want to say thank you very much for uh, all the love that I received yesterday uh, on our comments um, from uh, my amazing subscribers. I love you guys. Uh, you guys are the best. Um, and uh, really, really, really appreciate it. It was very, very touching. And um, I didn't shed a tear. No. <laughs> but... Um, uh, it was uh, it definitely it definitely meant a lot. Okay, it definitely fuels a fire for me to continue to put out um, content, which I feel is useful. Um, and you guys can um, you know plug it into your analysis, however which way you feel you feel fit. So I'm gonna get try to get this done, get through it as quickly as possible. I know I tried to do that on last night's video, but it's just sometimes it's just a lot to say. Um, but uh, this time we got another nor'easter coming here, and I got a ton of things to do. So uh, before this storm hits, so um, I sound like I'm like up in the woods somewhere, like in like 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 Alaska or something, <laughs> for the waiting for the winter to come. Um, but uh, all right, so let's get right into it. So yesterday we were talking about this one, two, three, four, five, right? What possibly could look like a five, three five uh, coming down a typical Elliott wave zigzag um, type, type of formation so we're counting the five waves as this one two three four five and if I just pull up the uh, Fibonacci extension um, real quick let's just let's just show you real quick this is how we kind of go about doing it all right so wave uh, three just made it past uh, the one mark on the Fibonacci extension, so it's just slightly larger than wave one. And that's cool, it just doesn't need to be the shortest one. That's really about it, right? The next thing, uh, what we would also do is we would go ahead and we would take, it, take a look at um, it as far as wave three is concerned. All right, so then we, we wanna go ahead and see what wave five, and wave five, um, made it past the 0.786, so in other words, 0.786% of the distance of wave of wave three, and that's cool. I mean, this is kind of textbook type stuff. Another thing we can also go ahead and take a look at is as far as retracements concerned, and this is really where you know the the extension in conjunction with the retracement is kind of where we we um, you know uh, um, that kind of where it's basically kind of how we look to try to um, try to trade. You know where do we ladder? Where do we ladder in? And I, I, I know I don't speak too much about it. Um, I probably should be speaking a little bit more about it. But I sometimes, sometimes people that are new to trading, um, it's not good. It's not good for them. Um, so, so yeah. So this is the retracement. Uh, the market retraced to 0.236, half basically halfway between 0.236 and 0.382. That seems to be a level that. Um, that this market likes. The, another level this market likes is between 0.382 and 0.5. Um, so that's you know that's one way to go ahead and look at the uh, the retracement. Another way, let's go ahead and look at the third wave and see what happened. So the fourth made it all the way back to the 0.382 and pretty much stopped there and, and turned right back around. All right, let's take a look at the overall. The overall retracement of the ABC. So the overall retracement of the ABC made it halfway between point, between point two three six and point three eight two. Okay, it basically made it to this one hour um, uh, resistance line of ten thousand nine hundred and forty one. Right, the top of this candle right here, the high of this candle right here is where the hell is it? There it is. It is uh, 10,911 spot 78. So I know we did show you this line after this top was here, but we actually had this line well before, well before this top was here. I just hadn't had time to make a video just yet, but that doesn't really mean anything unless you guys unless you guys see it beforehand. Anyways, 
this resistance line shows that what is a typical type of re typical type of resistance as far as a retracement is concerned, and you want to take a look at these uh, these these retracements. You know, especially you know the uh, the two wave and the four wave and the ABC uh, correction. Um, obviously, ABC correction coming from the downside as far as the resistance line is concerned, and and how to go ahead and see well has this corrected enough. You know what this also tells me too is that um, the if in the event let's say for example this ABC kind of made it back to the four hour chart I would say well okay maybe the bulls have some sort of controls they don't the bulls have no control throughout this whole uh, throughout this whole section right here this whole one two three four five the bulls had zero control the bears had all the control all right and then even you see here within the within the ABC even these large up candles right these large up candles we're not due to not due to buy volume in particular because the buy volume isn't particularly large, but it's due to the fact that you know people are just taking profits. You know the guys that are shorting they're just taking profits. That's really about it. So now we're now we're in this uh, case here of where we're we're looking if this is going to be a five three five we're looking for another five waves down. So if we go ahead and we take a look at things on a thirty minute basis, I'll just start to draw it. Um, One, two, three, maybe this is a four, right? Could be a four, it doesn't eclipse the one just yet. And we're gonna have a five somewhere down here, okay? Let's take a look at this as far as Fibonacci retracement's concerned, right? Why not? We're here, let's do it. So that would make the third wave basically hit on the money to the 1.618, right? This is not rocket science this is Fibonacci um, so yeah I mean this is just the way just the kind of just the way it goes and it, it hit directly right here so the next thing let's go ahead and take a look at um, take a look to see what is going on with uh, possibly wave 5 where can we get on wave 5 Sorry, drawing it the wrong way. All right, so <clears throat> wave five, you know, we wanted to get past obviously this point right here, which is the bottom of, of wave three, which call it about 10,415, right? But, you know, where could it possibly be? It could be just the same size as wave three, um, and that would be make it right down to this level of 10,270 or it could be short it could come to the 0.786 and make it to 10,354 so I don't know I'm leaving it right now at the 10,270 for right now um, and we're just gonna have to see how it goes it's as, it's as simple as that so uh, let's take a look at the um, uh, resistance levels the one hour line as far as resistance level is concerned is we're going to bring it down to 10,670 okay 10,670 is where we're at and this brings us basically right to the top of four right to the top of four so again if you guys are new to us as far as what does this mean this the resistance these resistance hidden resistance lines and also hidden support lines well, it can mean three different things. It means a potential place where the market could indicate where it's going to change direction. It also means a potential place for low-cost entries. All right? And it's also a place to go ahead and um, place your, your protective stops. All right? So I'd imagine that we're going to get some sort of f fifth wave here. All right? Some sort of fifth wave here. And hopefully, if this is truly a 535, this should all be over, and maybe we'd get a motive wave up. My my inclination is to say that probably won't be the case. We're probably going to make some sort of, as we had done here, some sort of, some sort of W, X, Y. Okay? I'd imagine we're going to do something like that. Don't know for sure, but... That would be my guess. 
Next, four hour support is 10,000, excuse me, yeah, 10,904. And that seemed to have disappeared. Did it disappear? I keep doing this to you guys. Uh, sorry. 10,904. All right, there it goes. Four hour support, 10,904. This is pretty much right at the top of the uh, C wave here. Okay? I think I just found something really cool. So if you go ahead and you adjust this and you want to reset the chart real quick, just double click on the right side here and boom, it resets it. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. Okay. That comes free, no cost, guys. So, um, yeah, maybe we're going to make a fifth wave down here. You know, we've had this this uh, daily support of 10,175 for quite some time. On a daily basis, we're starting to get a little bit more bearish. Uh, four hour basis, we are also um, uh, we're slightly bearish. And on a one hour basis, we're kind of like bearish to neutral. Um, that's, that's kind of the way we're looking at things right now. But let's go ahead and let's take a look at things on a daily basis real quick. Double click here, resets the chart. Beautiful, love it. Wow, that made my day right there. That made my day. Only thing better would, could be that this text message is telling me that I made a million bucks. Nope, not this time yet. All right. So, um, the 55 EMA, we are below the 55 EMA. The market basically opened on the 55 EMA. 55 EMA is 10,733 spot 24. Okay, we basically opened directly on that. Um, slightly below and the market has fallen off since we're not at the lows as what we were before but we are you know definitely at in a, in, in, in a bearish territory as far as the candles the way the candles look right bullish 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 right indecisive bearish 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 okay so another thing I want to show I failed to mention is volume seems to be coming back here Okay, and this typically happens when when corrections have exhausted themselves. Remember I was mentioning yesterday I want to see some big buy volume. And we're seeing that right here. Look how the market has gone ahead and has protected this candle right here. Um, ah, that's the million dollar text. Nah, I'm only joking. Um, so... Um, the uh, this uh, buy volume right here is, is, you know, not huge, but it's larger than what we've gotten right here. And look what happened. The market tried to drive it down, right? Market tried to drive it down and uh, the buyers came back and said, nope, sorry. All right. And then even here, the buyers try to try to want to run away even more. And the, and the bear said, nope, we're bringing it back down. And they took back control again to try to drive it down again. OK, couldn't happen. But the but the bears had more control over here. Then the buyers, you know, here was a straight out fight back and forth, you know, long leg, long legged doji. All right. Says that there was a huge fight back and forth and then huge. Now the, the bulls really took this thing and they got completely exhausted right now. Look at the volume, right? The volume has gone ahead and I'm trying to look at things at a little bit more of a micro basis on a one hour basis. The volume has fallen off here, right? And now everybody's just taking profits. So, you know, this is starting to look more bullish than any of this over here really had looked before. Right? Starting to look much more bullish. You can actually see, you know, if I'm trading this, you know, um, and I'm not right now, not right this second, I'm drawing all sorts of trend lines like this, right? I want to see what's going on, right? Not trying to say this is a triangle formation and there's going to be some sort of huge breakout, but you know sometimes more times than not, it is there. There is. Regardless, I want to go ahead and I want to see if the market's coming to some sort of conclusion. The more it wedges into here, the more I know that there's going to be some sort of breakout to the top or the bottom. All right. So, and if there was options on this in this market. Uh, that were regularly traded, you could uh, take advantage of that. But that's for a whole other 
a whole, whole over everything. So um, that's really what we're looking at right now. We're below the 55 EMA. We're below the, the 200 moving average, um, significantly below them. Um, you know, we're kind of close, getting kind of closer to this uh, green line right here. I'm hoping we just make a truncated fifth and we kind of just move on up um, or this just turns into something else. Right. Um, regardless, regardless, the um, Laguerre, we're looking at things on a 30 minute basis. The Laguerre RSI um, just, you know, nailed it. I mean, this thing is worth its weight. It's, it's really good. Good, guys. If you're not using it, you got to use it. Um, you know, it's basically called this top right here. You know, I'm not going back into the past, although it, it did excellent there too. You know, it, it called this bottom right here um, as, it's, as it's kind of started moving up right here. Um, and now it's crossed back into bearish territory. You know, let's see, let's see what happens. So we're gonna leave it there for right now. I don't wanna torture you guys anymore with all the extraneous noises in the background. Have a great day and happy trading.